Hey everybody, it's YouTube Comp. I just wanted to talk quickly about the Conficker worm. Um, if you haven't heard about it, then you need to because it's really major. It's a worm that's been infecting lots of computers. It's infected around 10 million computers. That's just like a minimum estimate. And uh, it, it's first appeared like over in October and it's only for Windows computers. It takes advantage of a vulnerability in Windows. They have released a patch. They released it right here. I'll put the links in the video description. Everything I show will be in the video description. You can download the patch. If you haven't, then you need to because they'll help prevent it. And so basically it first bubbled up in 2008, made headlines in January. Now Microsoft has a quarter million dollar bounty on the head of the writer of the worm offered by Microsoft. They've made like a security collaboration with like 12 different security companies to track down the creator of this. Um, Personally, I don't know who it is. I mean, I think it's someone really smart. I, it's probably some group of people from, like, China or Russia. Someone really smart. But, uh, so it steals personal information. Uh, and basically, on April 1st, it's supposed to make a major move. So, it, I guess April Fool's is a popular day for creators to target. And uh, it's one of the most damaging attack in years. So, where is it right here? Okay, what's known so far is that on April 1st, because security uh, experts were, were able to break open the code and they read in the code that it was programmed to here I have it written right here to look for instructions from the headquarters on April 1st so in the coding it states that it's going to look for instructions from an unknown source on April 1st the unknown source is the creator and it's going to tell the worm to do something like wipe hard drives whatever so 9 million PCs are about to just do something a major move but they say right here um, all infected computers will come under the control of a master machine so located somewhere across the web, which the creator owns of this worm. Anything's possible. They don't know, though, what it's going to do, whether it'll do denial of service, steal personal information, wipe hard drives, or simply uh, manifest more malware, um, or sell you phony security, or it could just be a prank. It's not going to do anything. Um, but it cle it's clever in the way it hides. Um, it uses an enormous amount of URLs to communicate with headquarters. Basically, when it does, on April 1st, when it does this communication with the creator, it's going to use 50,000 addresses a day to communicate. So that's like 50,000 middlemen. So you have to track through 50,000. So it goes through like 50,000, it's like going through 50,000 different people. And the 50,000th person is not going to know the original first person. That's almost impossible to track. 50,000 addresses. So can't be tracked or disabled by hand so they tried just buying out all the addresses um, that it was using but now they can't because it's using 50,000 now Microsoft has a free online scan right here uh, I have the links right here this is for I guess it doesn't work for Vista it's for XP if you have Vista use house call trend micro micro they uh, house call trend micro they have a free scan you can use to scan for it and then the patch right here, uh, more information on Wikipedia here. It's also known as the down, add up, or kiddo worm, or down up, just configure worm. So, yeah, so yeah, you guys, um, hopefully you're not infected. If you are, hurry and do the scan, and if you aren't, so then that's good. Now, when April 1st comes, just start reading, you know, like the tech headlines and the tech sections of websites, tech news, and see what has happened. Because that's going to be the big day about what's going to happen with this worm. Could just be a prank and nothing happens, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of anxious to find out. Um, so I already did scan. I'm not infected, but uh, so yeah, you guys, um, it's a pretty big deal. So they say even 15 million computers may be infected, but. So yeah, that's about all I have to say. Um, yeah. So yeah, all the links will be in the video description, and make sure your uh, virus scanner is on and stuff. Now, one way it spreads is just breaking through your network and connecting to all the different computers, and it attaches itself to every computer in your network. Also through the USB. Whenever you connect something in the USB drive and then take it out, put it in another computer, then you just transferred it over to that computer if you are infected. So, yeah, so that's the Configure Worm, uh, guys. Watch out for it.